my story is um, one of loss. I married the love of my life. We were married for a month to the day when he passed. And um, yeah, ever since then it's just been um, pretty much a story of um, growth really. When you get married you have goals and dreams and aspirations but the thing is when you lose that person you actually lose everything. I was settling down ready for babies and all that kind of stuff um, but then obviously life changed. After the loss of my husband, it obviously was pretty dark. For months, didn't get out of bed. At the start, I didn't rely on my support network. I thought that it would be easier for me to do it on my own, but it just prolonged the, um, the pain, really. The people around me that helped pick me up at the start, they endured a lot as well, um, having to see me grieve and, and struggle. So to be able to live to my full potential for them, for everything they did for me, uh, that's pretty much the biggest drive for me. Yeah, rugby league definitely helped me get through those tough times. When I was playing with the girls in Sydney, they actually helped me more than they know. It was kind of really good to be able to have people around me supporting me that weren't so much connected to the situation, but they could empathise with it and support me through it. My rugby league dream would be to make NRLW, um, but I am pretty happy just being able to play. The thing that gives me strength to continue pursuing my dream is my husband. I'm knowing that, you know, life can be taken from you at any moment. You kind of just have to go after what you want as hard as you can. It's not easy, I'm not going to lie. It's tough, it's rough, but life's too short. You know, I've been knocked pretty hard um, in life, so I feel like when I go out there, there's nothing that's going to hit me harder than what I've already faced. There's less fear in it for me. My mental strength has progressed a lot, and so when I'm in situations where I might be struggling, I can always push through it and come out the other side. The thing that I'm most proud of is just being able to see, you know, where I came from and to just know that, you know, I've come from there to where I am now. I feel like that's a pretty good achievement in itself.